And now it's time after I've found the new prop saver. My cat loves everything that is round and uh, rubberish, so she stole them. I have two had two on the table and they are gone, but luckily I know where she keeps them in her cat food in the cellar. So I just had to go down and get them back. Okay. Uh, so now I have, I have the prop on and I have put the prop so I know how far down it goes and I will put the thing so I see it and now I will decide how far down I want the gear to go with the prop as a, with the propeller as uh, the reference point and then I will make a mark and then I will measure and then I will make the next mark and then I will make sure that it looks nice and then I will cut. Okay, now it's time to glue on the straw uh, on the landing strut. So, or I'm saying it wrong all the time. Well, laugh it up all you want. Uh, anyway, the gear. And uh, this looks like... A, well, I show you how I do it. It looks a little bit... Uh, wonky but um, it actually works so I just hold the straw like this I hope you can see what I'm doing here no, I need to hold it like that and I put some hot glue here yes hot glue indeed and I fix the straw to the hot glue Depending on what quality of straw you have here, it will melt or it won't melt. If it doesn't melt, it's a go. Now, I put some hot glue on top. And then I have a little piece of plastic here. And I just keep lifting up the glue and shaping it around the wood of the barbecue skewer and you know I'm using this this tendency for this tendency of the hot glue to always make like threads and stuff like this I'm using that to my advantage by just spinning it around like this And I will let that dry while I do the other one. Put some hot glue on there. Like that. Uh oh. And then I just spin it around. Like that. And then I let it. And then I let it dry. Then I add some more, and then I let it dry, and then I add some more, and then I let it dry. Okay, so now I have uh, glued on one of the wheels, uh, on the wheel axle. And uh, a nice way to judge if it's straight is to spin it, spin it like this in front of you, and then you can see if it's straight. And it's straight enough, and I cut off the straw, and it's time to... Put it in there like that and then I will put the other wheel on on the other side look gear there is no diff but hey it will track straight nice okay and the nice thing about this hobby is that you learn something new every time for instance now I have learned that I should have put in the, um, the tail skid before I put the tail assembly on because then I would have been able to get some glue in there now I have to take something like a plastic stick or something and put in there okay 
anyway, point being, what I want to do is I want to use the point end. I want to stick it in here somewhere. And I want it to go up and pierce the, the stabilizer. So I get some extra support. Wish me luck. Uh, what uh, what you can't see now uh, is that um, I actually uh, had some luck in this uh, because I when I stuck the barbecue skewer in, I can look into this hole and then I can aim for the tab inside here from the fin, and then I stick it just a little bit into the into the foam in between the papers. And the fin and then it's quite sturdy so now I just need a little bit of glue and to get it in there I will use just a piece of foam like this and I would use use it as a, as a spoon and just apply some glue in there okay so now what I like to do before I put in the servos this is um, some old servos that I had from you can see it was on another project that didn't fare so well it went straight up in the air and straight down this plane however flies really nice so I will check the CG first I will put the bat I have put the battery in there the prop propeller is on and uh, to find the CG for this airplane it's quite easy you just count the grooves back here on the wing one two three and there you have the cg and you can see that it's it's fairly well balanced already but uh, i will need the servos and stuff in there and i would have preferred to put the servos in the back and uh, have the cables go in front but if I put all the stuff back there on the stabilizer that needs to go there and then of course I put the receiver here one two three it's way too tail heavy so I will make some I will do it the hard way. Okay, so far so good. Um, I will not go into detail uh, in uh, on how to install um, servos and servo rods and, and such things, because if you want to learn to do that, if you are a beginner, I suggest that you go to flytest.com. And look at their their videos because uh, they are great for beginners uh, I just wanted to show this um, I have a barbecue skewer to make it more rigid and um, but I need them to go into the fuselage so what I will do is I will decide somewhat where it should go and then I will have to draw a line and cut open and and the groove and the groove has to be fairly long I would say about seven or eight centimeters but uh, but um, uh, you have to try or try or uh, try you have to try and you have to experiment that's the word I was looking for experiment so you have to experiment with that and I will be back when I have installed this okay so far so good now I'm gonna do a little bit of decoration and then I'm going to see where the CG is located and uh, then we work from there and here is the finished aeroplane you can see the the grooves for the control
and the shiny bit in the front this this is vinyl you can buy it in uh, hobby stores it's just like this glues on but uh, this I got from a friend uh, so I give him a shout out if you are interested in board games and like to play like uh, if, if you like to play advanced squad lead go to his website trojangames.com that's trojangames.com and buy your stuff there because he has a lot of knowledge in that field and also I wanted to show you the the first incarnation, the prototype. Uh, it's on the floor. Okay. Here's the first version. Oh, the table is too small. So here's the first version of the airplane. And as you can see, I have the same vinyl and I have rounded the top. And if you like, you can do that too. It's only the imagination that uh, put a stop to what one can do with these materials. Also, as the wings are fixed to these aeroplanes, I have these barbecue skewers here because I have uh, only attached the wings outside here and it's uh, well, rather precarious. So, to make it's possible to take the wing off and uh, freeze the storage. Then we have the rubber band version, and of course, we can't have barbecue skewers under here when we have it that way. Thank you for being patient so far. And as a final wisdom on this build video, I can say this if you are eating chocolate, mind where you put the glue gun. <laughs>